Hi, I'm Amy Schwabenlinder, Executive Director of the Human Services Campus. I am originally from Muskego, Wisconsin. In high school, I, I knew I wanted to go to college. My parents had to go to college, my grandparents had it. But went, went to school in San Antonio, Texas, which got me away from everything. Went back to Wisconsin after I graduated and started doing jobs in sales and marketing because that's where my um, my degree it was in business administration with a marketing concentration in communication. And then moved to Phoenix in 1995 and kept doing sales and marketing, had my own marketing business for about a year and a half. And a temporary opportunity came up at Valley of the Sun United Way to be a loan executive during the campaign. When I was preparing my presentations for the United Way campaigns, any good coaching around fundraising and storytelling would teach you to find something personal about your connection to why are you asking people to donate money. One, I remembered being uh, in our Girl Scout troop volunteering in the basement of a church in a soup kitchen. That was one volunteer experience that struck with me. And I, I think at the core is like, this is wrong. This, why are people lining up to eat a meal in a church basement and why do they live outside? And then the second piece I remembered as I was writing these United Way presentations is I also did a, um, a 24 hour immersion experience. So through Maricopa Association of Governments, there was an effort to get elected officials to go through this immersion and see what it's like to experience homelessness in Phoenix. And I journaled and probably wrote 20, 30 pages of everything that happened in that 24 hours. And what came to my mind was my dad. So my dad was an alcoholic, a uh, functioning alcoholic for quite a while. He died at the age of 57. And um, I realized that when I looked at a lot of men experiencing homelessness, when I looked in their eyes, they reminded me of my dad. Um, My dad could have been one of them, and he, he was never homeless, but these men I would talk to just made me think of my dad. So I finally put all those pieces together, um, and I think that explains why, at my core, this is, um, it's unacceptable to have homelessness in the United States of America, and I see, though, the edge you can be on where it can literally happen to anybody. Our organization gets most excited when we're having those bigger conversations of how do we break this cycle of people falling into homelessness, becoming chronically homeless, having this forever conversation about building more housing. I appreciate people reaching out to talk about partnership. The introductions that people have made through STN, as far as someone hears something, tells one person and they say, oh, I know Amy or so-and-so. They understand this, this work and what we're looking for. And that person making the introduction, I, I, I feel adds a lot of value. When it comes to then sitting down and having a conversation, coming with ideas and solutions and, and how can we take two things and put them together and have it add up to something more than our independent pieces. It's always helpful, I, I think, for people to come visit the Human Services Campus if they want to do anything for sure at our space and if they really want to collaborate on addressing homelessness. And I see a future where we've made big change and so I'm, I'm really driven and focused on the long-term change so we don't keep repeating these same efforts over and over again and again. It's the United States of America. There are enough resources for everyone to have safe, affordable, accessible, permanent home. We don't have to have homelessness.